Yesterday, I had said that there would be another Cherry Bomb video today. Well, silly me, there's no Cherry Bomb video today because the market's closed. But I wanted to do something, an idea occurred to me, and I have a theory for you to put to the test. There's going to be a link in the description below. It's going to link to a Trello board. And so the question I want to answer today and begin to answer and have, give you the opportunity uh, to test out with me is can Trello make a good trading journal? So let's take a look at that today. So if you don't know what Trello is, Trello is a project management tool. It's free or freemium, depending on how you want to look at it. You're limited to the number of power-ups that you can use inside of a Trello board. And if I'm using terminology that is a little uh, above you right now, don't worry about it, I promise. Maybe even when you see how great Trello is for a trading journal, uh, you can use it for other things, right? So here we are in Trello. If you go to trello.com, you, you can sign in or sign up using a Google account. You can, I think maybe you can use Apple or Microsoft. Sign into it using whatever tool you'd like. Um, and the link in the description below will allow you to get into a board I'm going to make public that you can then make a copy of. So I wanted to cover this tool for you and uh, give you the opportunity to get it, right? No strings attached. You don't have to give me your email, just something that I'm going to try and I figured I'd throw your way too. So just to give you an idea of what I think the product could look like, here is the one that I made earlier. And I have three lists. So a Trello board is going to be made up of lists, these vertical columns here, right? And so you can add as many lists as you want. For right now, I just have open, closed for a profit, closed for a loss. So these are my open trades right now. And I've made uh, labels, colored labels, to tell me what kind of strategy I've used, right? Short put or short call, uh, short vertical. These are the ones that I have on right now. I don't have any strangles or anything like that. I'm going to make them as needed. But you can create a card so inside of every list would exist cards so each trade that i place is going to become a card so here's the love trade that i've got on here right and i set a due date for the date at which i want to manage it now if you're following the tasty trade approach which is you want to manage it at 50 percent or manage it at 21 days so i'll look at the days to expiration or look at the expiration date and go back three weeks that would give you 21 days to expiration that's where I choose that. And I'll go over this again when we create a card uh, as a simulated trade, right? So you can describe the trade if you want to do it here. But also, while the trade is live, if you roll it and manage it in a certain way, uh, I recommend that as you build the trade, you place a comment using this activity here. You're going to place when you opened it, all right, and what it filled at so you'll be able to track price. So I rolled it on the 24th. Uh, 20 days later, I rolled it. Uh, at a dollar and ten credit, right? So now my max profit is going to be the two credits that I received. So that's how that looks. There's all sorts of other things that you can use, but the power up uh, that this one used is actually really cool, and it automatically guessed that I would want to use it. And that's this calendar power up. So at a glance, you can click calendar and you can see, hey, these are the trades and these are the dates I need to be expecting to manage them. Now, these iron condors here are working out for me. And oftentimes I'm not going to manage an iron condor. The defined risk ones I might not manage. And, you know, unless that that changes in my as of course, I'm always learning. This is a tool that uh, will help me understand hey, if I managed it, did it work out well? Did it not work out well? Right. I'm go always going to grow in my management skills. So you can see here the eight trades that I have. And of course, each one I can scroll up and down here like this. I can click on them and see their details. So this calendar view is super handy dandy. This background graphic is not something that you need to keep. I just, of course, because we're where you are my cherry bombers. Uh, and this is, you know, a tasty trade sort of um, list of trades that we're following. That's why I put that there. You can change that over here in the show menu and choose change background. So once I've closed the trade, let's assume love's going to work out for me and it does and I close it, I can just drag this card and drop it over here into this list, right? So that is what we're going to have offered to you. 
And I'm, of course, going to put this video into the uh, template that I have for you. So let's head on over to that template. I'm going to hit home. I'm going to go to the template one. This is what you're going to have here. There's going to be this one card here where I'm going to link to today's video. All right. Um, and so you can rewatch it if you need to. But when you're done with it, just delete this card, right? So how do we delete that, right? So we could go, we could click the card. We could go down to archive and then we can choose delete, right? So that would be how you would delete the card, right? So I don't actually want to archive it. So I want to get that out of my archive. Okay, I want to send it back to the board. So you just got an also lesson if you archive something, how to send it back, right? So let's now move to, hey, I'm using Trello as a trading journal uh, or a trade tracker. How do I add a trade? So you click over here on this add another card. And this is where for right now, at least what I'm thinking is I'll just put the ticker, right? So let's go SPY, right? I hit enter. I can continue to add trades by typing in their tickers. But here I'm going to do one. Uh, and then I go back, even though I'm ready to start typing another one, I'm just going to click here. Don't click on the pencil, even though you might think that's what you need to. That's sort of like an on the fly change. What I want to do right now is just click on that card. Now that I've got this open, right, I want to pick a uh, due date to look to manage this. So I'm going to click on the due date. It pops open the calendar. And if we said that the uh, expiration, because many of them right now are August 7th, I would go back three weeks though. So that would be one week. Let's go here. One week, two weeks, three weeks. This would be the date on which I want to manage it. Okay, so I select the 17th, hit save. That's my due date. And then I can go ahead and add some uh, information like opened on 7-3. Happy July 4th for you, uh, those of you in the United States tomorrow. Open 7.3 at, and I could put the price of 0 0.65, 65 cents, right? I hit save. Now that's in there. And of course, let's pick a strategy for this. Where does that come from? I come over to my labels here, and I've got these strategies here. You can create new ones and whatnot. Well, let's say that this one is going to be a short vertical, right? Hit X. I can just click off here. And, and now yours might look like this, right? If you see these colors and you may not remember what they are, I like clicking them so that I can see what the strategy is. So you can also get a, a nice glance at, am I being diverse in my strategies as well? So that is how you go ahead and add a trade. And of course, we already showed you when you need to, uh, when you close it, you can drag it to the different uh, lists to which they belong. So I'm not going to do that. All right. So. That is how I think we're going to test our theory of using uh, Trello as a trade journal. Uh, I'd like to know in the comments below, have you used uh, Trello before? Is this something new to you? Uh, so let me know in the comments below. As always, I appreciate that you uh, clicked on this video and you watched it. For those of you that are new here, uh, my name is Neil. I don't know if I said that earlier. And I do cherry bomb trades four days a week. And on Mondays, we do portfolio recaps. We do simulated trading. And if that's the kind of thing that you're interested in, you know, it'd be great if you could hit that, uh, hit that like button, subscribe and uh, ring that bell. So you can be notified, notified of videos when they come out. Really the big deal is we're all learning. And I think it's great to have a community of people that where we get together and we put on these trades together. Maybe in the comments, we let, we know, Hey, this where we're going to differ is usually in the management of the trades, right? And that's kind of interesting to see. All right, everybody. Thanks so much for watching. And as always, I look forward to seeing you in an upcoming video.